What's up? From everyone at GTA Series Videos and your voice, Gary7MT. We're here to talk about the latest news and discoveries around the next big title from Rockstar Games, Red Dead Redemption 2. Previously announced for Fall 2017, Red Dead Redemption 2 is now set to launch in Spring 2018 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. According to Rockstar's statement, this new Western title is their first game created from the ground up for the latest generation of console hardware, and the developers need a little extra time to ensure that they can deliver the best experience possible for the fans. Together with this news, Rockstar Games also released seven new screenshots, maybe to match the seven characters shown in the game artwork. Here are four horsemen on the prairie in the cold night. If we lighten the image, we can see more details of the group and recognize, without a doubt, three of the four riders to be characters from the official Rockstar artwork. The fourth one could be the guy with the bowler hat, but something in the proportions seems odd. So let's speculate about the characters for a moment. We can certainly say that at least one of the protagonists appears in this picture. This could be a bit far-fetched, but maybe, considering the previous leaks about the multiple main character system, the three men on the left could be the three main characters of this game. The guy with a mask on his face is approaching the engine of the train while the steam is filling up the entire shot. It's probably one of the main characters we're going to control in the game. But the most important thing here is the evolution compared to Red Dead Redemption. Dual wielding weapons. And those are not even the same weapons. Yes, both are revolvers, but are two different kinds of revolvers. The last time we saw something like this in a Rockstar Games title was in Max Payne 3. As pointed out by Juan Marstoon on the GTA forums, this shot may be inspired by the movie The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. The scene in the game and in the movie itself is taken from a train robbery. So, perhaps, after taking inspiration from classic modern heist movies for GTA V, like Heat and The Italian Job, Rockstar Games is now looking at modern and classic Western films while creating the story behind Red Dead Redemption 2. A shot of a huge redwood forest. Around the area, together with the enormous trees, there are also some small ones. Vegetation is massive considering that the platform used to render these shots is probably the PS4. An armored stagecoach protected by six men and probably another one or two inside. The logo on the back of the stagecoach can't be identified, but at the top, there's a five to six letter word followed by Overland Stagecoach Company, as pointed out by John Weasel on the GTA forum. All men look like NPCs, and this shot is probably just showing us a random event where we can attack and steal money and more from stagecoach occupants. We cannot help but notice that the man riding shotgun looks a bit like Landon Ricketts. That surely is just a coincidence, but still. Train again, but this time moving on a track over a small bridge in a forest area. Far between the trees, we can see a small house. The difference between the two colors of smoke and the way both naturally dissolve after a while is simply sublime. In the background, we have a high mountain and a couple of birds flying near the outpost. From the eyelashes on the horse to the reflections inside the puddles created by people walking on mud, this image is all about a town moment for the protagonist, armed with a rifle, two revolvers, and a knife. Electric lights and candles shed some light on this late 1800s town, perhaps called Smithfields, as we can see over the saloon. On the left, between the columns of the porch, we can see the letters BLC on the wall of the building far away, probably blacksmith hardly black water. 
And lastly, a pair of extremely detailed revolvers held by an unknown figure with two rings on the right hand. One is a lion head, the other an engraved ring with the characters that appear to be the letters CB on it, maybe used for the sealing of wax. Even with the announcement of the delay during Take Two's earnings conference call, investors asked about Red Dead Redemption 2 and most of what the company had to say were responses, not answers. Anyway, beware of fake news spreading online about this game, such as unverified names credited on IMDB, retailers listing the game with placeholder dates, or the case with Windows Central who affirm that they have seen marketing materials of RDR2 showcased in 4K for the project Scorpio. And yes, it's not hard to imagine, this game will be widely used to promote both Sony and Microsoft's new platforms with 4K support. After all, the game looks great. So. We finally have a confirmation of what everyone had already predicted over the last couple months. The seven new screenshots are not enough to satisfy our thirst, and considering that the game launch is set after March 2018, it could be possible that for a couple of months, we won't hear much of anything about the game. And that's all for today's news. A big thanks from the GTA series videos crew and me, Gary Seth. Bye-bye.